Jules Gervais from the Path of Freedom. He's a farmer in the city of Pasadena, and he'll tell you all about it. Okay, I live up the road from here uh, near a site called um, the Rose Bowl. I guess you guys know about the Rose Bowl, right? <laughs> okay. You might even have parked on my street during one of those UCLA home games. And um, I sold 10 acres of land in central Florida 25 years ago to buy a fifth of an acre of land in Pasadena. And uh, have you heard of Path to Freedom before? Path to Freedom? Okay, very good. Have you been to the website? Anybody been to the website? Okay. I'm glad you survived our website because <laughs> some people might be in there for a long time. Uh, it's a long, big, uh, humongous website. Of course, you know about Al Gore's Inconvenient Truth, but it goes so far and then it leaves you hanging, and we're trying to live the inconvenient solution. Uh, we're, we're trying to put the roots in the grassroots. So uh, maybe I'll give you some headlines uh, of the day. Uh, pollution is threatening the health of the planet. There's an explosive Middle, Middle East situation, uh, an unpopular war that has everybody down in the dumps, a political quagmire that um, we can't seem to get out of, gas prices soaring to unheard of levels, reaching the record of 35 cents a gallon. Uh, that was the news from the time 40 years ago when I was in your seat. Yes. So here's a video clip about how I came to be standing before you today. I knew early on that we needed to settle the food problem because if you could grow food, it's empowering. It's powerful. In fact, I would say growing food is one of the most dangerous occupations on the face of this earth because you are in danger of becoming free. Well, I appreciate that. But um, to show you how we've evolved here is that's on YouTube <laughs> with, with about 20,000 hits. So, you know, we're not just an old fashioned homestead. So you see how I transitioned um, in my life and uh, your students here and you're faced with tough issues every day, even more than I think I've, I was faced with. Uh, this uh, choice of having the student led program is a good starting point. You're taking this program is also a good starting point. But there's bad news all around, and I just hope that uh, together we can plant a seed of hope. The first, the first thing that uh, I want to talk about was organic, but David covered that subject very well. I just wanted to say the difference from when I started was everybody was looking to be organic, and organic was something that you say, go organic, people would be positive. Now it's kind of a funny, funny turnaround, but because organic also means green in terms of cash green, 
Uh, there, are, there are things that you have to be aware of, and he mentioned one of them is the dilution of the organic label. And also there's a, a corporate uh, takeover mode, which has, if you're familiar with Tom's of Maine, the recent takeover of Tom's of Maine by a corporation which shall remain nameless, uh, Burt's Bees has fallen victim to another corporate takeover uh, buyout. And um, the largest seed company in the world out of Mexico has been taken over by Monsanto. So if you're familiar with GMOs, um, this is a scary time, more scary, scarier, and more scary than when I was um, your age. So the importance, the importance of a student is to ask questions and to continue to ask questions. You cannot take information and you take the news. You have to ask questions like, who has control? Okay, who's in charge? Is there a monopoly? Because if you control the seeds, you control life because food is life. So what do they want? What do you think those people are trying to help us? They want money, power. And it's our, our duty to resist. So one of the ways I do that is to go to do a local, my own local uh, food protest is I grow everything I can in my backyard. In 2007, the Oxford Dictionary Word of the Year was, does anybody know? The Oxford Dictionary Word of the Year in 2007, that's last year. The Word of the Year was locavore. Locavore, do you know what that means? That's right, okay. Like omnivore, would eat everything. Locavore only eats local. And it was coined by four women in San Francisco to describe a person who tries to eat food grown within a 100-mile radius. That's local for them. And uh, David, David mentioned about something and what I mentioned in the, in the video, about a 1,400-mile salad, okay? And this is not to scale, but out here, is if, you're, if you're eating grapes, if you're eating grapes today, uh, this, is, this is chili. <laughs> you know, this is chili. So this image, if you keep this image in, in mind of a bullseye, you can see where, where we're going. Uh, the world wants, to, world wants to go out here and, and pick up food ever, anywhere, okay? We reverse in the direction here. If, if you're in California, you're lucky because of San Joaquin Valley. So you might be able to, uh, in farmer's markets and in and, and, and the produce stores, you might be able to get within 500 miles. The local vor has reduced that to 100 miles. Okay? This bullseye is what I'm aiming for. And this is, this is my backyard. <laughs> okay? And so we've started a, a freedom Freedom Gardens of the World website, and it features a 100-foot diet challenge. And that's uh, something that we're going to push this year, is to get people to go back to the days of the Victory Gardens, where it meant victory, and today we're looking for freedom. So I call it Freedom Gardens of the World. Because what you can't grow in your own backyard, and this is a formula, if you can't grow it in your own backyard, backyard then loc grow local, get it locally produced. If not locally produced, then organic. If not organic, then a family farm. If not a family farm, then a local business. If not a local business, then fair trade. And that's a formula that's available on the, win on the website. That's to get control, you see, because this, this, this has gone out of control. And we have to take back control, and we're going back into our homes and our backyards. <clears throat> 